Hello, my beautiful little harvesters. Welcome back to Reading for Purpose. I'm so excited for this time that we are going to be sharing together, not only to hear a story, but to have our ears open wide to see those lessons that we can find and apply to our lives, to be the change makers that our King Jesus calls us to be. So make sure that you're comfortably settled in, your ears are open wide. Why? so we can read together and learn together. Today's story is called Bear Picks a Pumpkin, illustrated by Gil Gal. And let's read the writing in the back of the book to see what we are gonna be reading about today. Here's another pumpkin, Bear. It's perfect, don't you say? It's round and smooth and not too big, just right for you. Hooray! Bear is on a quest to find the perfect pumpkin. Will he choose a tall one, a tiny one, one with stripes, or perhaps a pumpkin white as snow? Snuggle up with your little one and read along to find out which pumpkin Bear will choose. Although today's story is a little small, it's really unique, and I thought it would be nice, especially because we are in the fall season. And this is the time that you'll hear about pumpkin picking and apple picking. And you know, Miss Sylvia loves pumpkins. You know why? Because my family, during the holidays, we take pumpkins, and my mom has taught us how to make pumpkin bread and pumpkin soup, and it's absolutely delicious. And there's tons of other recipes you can make like pumpkin ice cream and pumpkin eggnog and pumpkin tea um, and for those adults out there even pumpkin coffee and it's absolutely delicious so now let's get started on our story bear picks a pumpkin bear let's pick a pumpkin which one should it be? So many colors, sizes, and shapes. Lots and lots to see. What else do you see? Do you see all those beautiful pumpkins? Green, orange, and yellow. So beautiful. And can you find Bear and his friends? Well, there goes Bear. And he has his donkey, right? The little mouse, skunk, a beaver, a rabbit, worm, and a pelican. Oh, and let's not forget the little ladybug right there. Amazing. Here's a funny pumpkin. It's very squat and wide, but there are more to see yet, Bear. So set it to the side. Can you see another friend that joined Bear? Well, of course, right there, a butterfly. Ooh, so pretty. Here's a tall, thin pumpkin, the tallest one around, but it's a little wobbly and might just topple down. Can you spot a new friend with Bear? Well, of course, there goes a worm. Ooh, and now there's two lady, oh well, no, there's three ladybugs. Absolutely amazing. And another worm. Too cute. Here's a tiny pumpkin. It's fit right, oh, excuse me. It fits right in your hand. It looks simply adorable, but not so very grand.
here's a great big pumpkin, the biggest in the patch. It's awfully hard to lift though. Let's find a better match. Here's a bright white pumpkin. It's lovely, just like snow. But there are other colors here to see before we go. Here's a pretty pumpkin, all striped with orange and green. It's beautiful, but there are more that we still haven't seen. Here's a silly pumpkin. It's bumpy and unique, but there are still more pumpkins. So let's go and take a peek. Here's another pumpkin bear. It's perfect, don't you say? It's round and smooth and not too big, just right for you. Hooray! You've picked a perfect pumpkin bear. You found one just for you. And while you picked your pumpkin bear, Your friends all pick theirs too. Such a cute story, right? I love the illustrations, or I should say the drawings in them. Um, the book was beautifully written and it has such meaning. And what would you say would be a meaning for you in this story? Let's take a couple minutes to think. Well, for Miss Sylvia, the meaning is that like in life, we are all different and we all have purpose. And just like Bear and his friends were in the field, right? Trying to find that perfect pumpkin. They all had one that was just right for them. And that is what we have to see in life, that we have purpose. We're unique, we're special, we're one of a kind. We stand out and God made us that way for his glory. So make sure that you shine bright. Make sure that you know you don't have to be like everybody else. As in the story, not every pumpkin was the same. Each pumpkin, oh excuse me, each pumpkin was different in shape, size, color, even in smell, even in taste. So know that just like those pumpkins, we are all different. We're beautiful and we're made to stand out for God's glory. So today, my little beautiful harvesters, I want to remind you as always that you are loved, you are precious, you have destiny, and you will do great things for God's glory. So as you're taking time to settle in throughout your day, I just want to share a Bible verse with you. And it is in Ecclesiastics 5.18. Behold, that which I have seen, it is good and comely for one to eat and to drink and to enjoy the good of all his labor that he taketh under the sun all the days of his life, which God giveth him, for it is his portion. So we know that just like Bear and his friends got blessed with their own pumpkins, that's how we can know that God provides for us. 
We have food that God gives us, strength that God gives us, family, we have time, we have health, we have life. And in every single thing, give him glory because it's only because of the Lord that we can have those things. So shine bright, live thankful, and know that God is your purpose. Talk to him throughout your day. Ask him what he wants you to do. Thank him for what he has in store for you. And even ask him, Lord, everything you have for me, bless me to receive. And not only you, but remember to pray for your family, your friends, our country, our nation. Pray for people. Remember, prayer is important. And you are the change that brings change. So again, my little harvesters, I love this time we share together. And I can't wait to our next reading adventure. I'll see you then. Bye.